So let's have a look at the traits of the under 1700 area. There should be a slight difference between the under 1500 and the under 1700 um, based off of what we we know there should be maybe maybe a two-step calculation as a minimum maximum type thing so thinking like two moves ahead in a sense they might be thinking the thinking 50 moves ahead but we're just saying we're going to go with two moves ahead positionally they might look to improve the position on the board a little bit better so you wouldn't probably expect to see as many errors and blunders as we did in the under 1500 getting the queens taken off the board by accident you know from smaller pieces shouldn't really see that element here should be a little bit more of a better position on the board with the pieces working together as a team okay so i haven't seen this from the start so let's have a look king's not got castled so probably looking to put some pressure here. Maybe bringing a knight out, attacking the bishop. It's got no protection on. So it looks pretty straightforward. They're playing a much lower rated player. So you would expect that type of thing. And obviously when I'm talking about ratings on online, really take it with a pinch of salt because there might not be a 1200. There might actually be a 2000 pluser who's just doing a rating ladder climb or speed run or whatever it is. So you never know. All right, so the knight is out. Knight could still have taken, but the bishop's there. He's trying to get rid of the bishop, so he gets the knight for free. But that's probably not going to happen. So the knight do this. Exactly. And if they take, I think that what they're going to do is going to be a bit arty. Oh, no, they haven't. Thank you. Shush. So now the bishop escapes. But do you really want to keep the bishop on the board, really? He's going to look to just jam it in, block it in here. He's not gone that way. So they could still continue with this. Rook's coming here maybe to utilise the power of the Rook's basic chest. So the Knight's up, looking to support this square maybe, but that might have been a bit slow, but never mind. King needs to probably come across the support. This simple thing of managing the rooks on the open files is so basic and simple. But if you don't know it and you don't do it, stacking the rook, rook's probably going to come here to stay on the file. Or it can go back. It could even go here, tacking the pawn, which is annoying for white. Oh, they've not done that. So it gives them a little bit of a movement. Oh, too much night moves, dude. Too much night moves. Did he just take a pawn or something there? Yeah, greedy munching. But he's got a safe haven to come back to here. So I suppose that's why they've done that. But he has to be mindful. He does have a white square bishop. But it's not going to be taking anything anytime soon. So yeah, greedy munching for greedy munching's sake. I think I would have held back on that a little bit. Go with the basics. Look at this. Managing this file here before it all starts thundering down on you. Some point night here, night here or something like that. reluctant to take but probably thinking it's okay yeah now the king's staying on the dark squares making its way up somehow to try and take these off the board with the support of the knight something like that that's a lot of work but hey their king's now looking to come all the way down here and take this back pawn and support this pawn down here if you're not knowledge, oh, for crying out loud, that was a that was the sixteen eighty five, sixteen eighty five, and we said earlier on, oh, they're not likely to um give pieces up or you know give the queen up or whatever it is, and look at exactly what's just happened there. So they still have the potential to make those kind of blunderous um situations. They didn't even have to move fast. They've got seven minutes. Oh, sh <laughs> so yeah, that's good. It's good because I like to see humanized play. I like to see human play. I don't like to see perfection, you know, it's because it's not realistic. And yeah. So we'll keep watching this player. And obviously, as we've mentioned, they'll have a better understanding of the basics. 
oh, they should have a better understanding of working the pieces together and using utilizing the power of the rooks better and strategy planning and probably a two-step calculation type thing and as we've just seen here yes they they will still blunder positionally either through rushing or emotionally getting involved in it and and over overthinking so that might be their little bit of issue so now these pawns that this is a nice touch because they're understanding the power of the pawns it's that type of thing about basics although this they do have a bishop which could be getting black could be getting into the game a little bit so now we've got the passer here the king's got to be looking to support that bishop's probably just going to excuse me come here and just stop any promotion aspects Ooh, he's going to get a passer i don't think he can stop that Oh, why is the king going up there? Should it not be coming here and blocking? Oh, no, but the bishop can come here and go here. He's not going to get this up here. That's what he's thinking. He's thinking he's getting this pawn up. But all the bishop has to do is here. Oh, okay. No, he might be too slow. No, he's, oh, no, he's gone here. Yeah, that's not getting promoted. I thought something's not right. Why is he still moving the king? It's not getting promoted. Yeah, so they've lost out completely positionally. Um, Just from that one mistake of losing the knight. Maybe black doesn't know how to um, end the game. Maybe this is why they're still continuing on. Or are they looking to try and get some sort of stalemate thing, thinking he's a lower rated player. He can't, he doesn't know how to end the game. Let me see. He shouldn't steal, mate. Not from this, surely. I'm staying quiet. If anything, you would have thought he'd have kept that all locked down because now he's, there's no step. Ooh, there is. Not. Yes, there is. Ooh. Ooh, no, it's still, mate. It's um, checkmate, sorry. He has to move and then he just goes here, bang. Huh? Okay, it goes here then. He's delaying it. What is he doing? Oh no. Oh no. That's showboating now. That would be so funny if he lost this from stalemate because he's showboated. The queen just had to come here and just put a check on it. Would have been a checkmate. Oh, that's massive showboating. This could end really badly. I can feel stalemate coming on anytime soon. Nope. Oh, maybe not, because he's he can come here and then go here. I don't think the stalemate's on now. Yeah, it's a long-winded way of doing it. Yeah, they're just showboating. Or maybe they don't know how to end with the queen and the king. Sometimes people don't, you know. And they're moving really quick, so they might even blunder this and get a stalemate. This is going to be shocking. Some people don't know how to do a, ch you know, a queen and king ending. There is a simple technique to it. They look like they know what they're doing. Because they're showboarding. Yeah, they've got it. They understand it. King's going to come here. There's no escape now. Because if he gets to this 
thing here. It's just a straightforward checkmate. Why is he carrying on? Yeah, that's that's not good. Oh, and it's done. Oh, I could have gone there, but either way. Yeah, that's bad. Just from losing that night, then um, the low-rated player was playing like some sort of grandmaster. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, just waiting. Maybe they're not going to come on now because they might be feeling a little bit sore. But it is 10-minute rapid, so they might just be waiting to get paired. Yeah. Oh, they're on. Uh, 1,500 they're against, so they're still higher than this player. They're probably now going to be thinking, I'm not going out like that. I was actually winning and I just let it drop. Move too fast. Okay, so you can see now this player's developing their pieces out and they're getting into the, into the game, you know, with their pieces. Center is being managed. Yeah, there's no kind of like airy fairy thinking here. It's like at least let's get into the game. Why it's looking really ferocious. Bishop's got trapped. I'm not sure, but I think they're going for the fried liver. Don't tell me they're going for a fried liver in this. They are and all, aren't they? As the bishop's trapped, but they're going for my days. You don't really expect to see that, you know, with the under 1700s. I mean, this is a 1600 player here. I think, for based on what I'm seeing, they play a little bit too quick. You know, um, I like the opening sort of style because it's getting the pieces in the mix, but their single maneuvers, which look like they're working together as a team. But it's like just quickness to get the pieces out. And then there's no kind of thought as to where the piece is going to land. And then looking at the blind spots of what the opponent can potentially do to you. Just based off of this. There's no major advantage here because we've been practicing the fried liver for years. And we can make it work. It's one of those interesting ones where, yeah, you keep it in your back pocket. And depending on how you're feeling on the day, then you'll go for it. But I wouldn't do it all the time because if you're playing somebody who knows how to work against it, you've basically lost two pieces. Never mind the value of the pieces, two pieces aside from pawns, and they've only lost one piece. So you've got more pieces than the opponent still. So if you can take away the sting from the two rooks, because that's what you've t done, you've taken away the power of the rooks. Black's left the game. I don't know if this, they're going to get paired because they seem to have finished this game a bit quick. I'll hang fire because I, I just like to stick with the one player just to show the same sort of traits going through. But this player is really not showing... <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> They're showing a lot of weaknesses that really would sit quite nicely in the under 1500 bracket. So there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference apart from the opening. Yeah, the opening fairly half decent because it's getting the pieces in the game. It shows the basics and understanding of basic chess. Um, in the last game that we saw them play, obviously they moved too quick didn't do a proper calculation, a proper strategy because they lost their knight and they quickly moved their knight to a position where it could get taken off the board. That really shouldn't be happening in the under 1700s like that. And they did try and fight back and they did try and maybe go for a stalemate only because the opponent was a lot lower rated than them. So, yeah, lots of erroneous mistakes but as we can see there's a better understanding of the basics right from the start as simple and basic as they are but at least you're practicing the understanding of what management of the center is and then you can look at managing around the center and then you can start doing all that fancy type of sitting waiting type opening doesn't look like this player's come back home i think they're probably retired so we'll Shall we have a look at another player?
So we did say like a two-step calculation, maybe rooks don't really have a place in the center of the board unless of course there's it's to your benefit. He does have two pieces attacking, but he's got pieces defending and the king. And so really I'm not a fan of that rook position. Simple pawn attack here to try and open that up. Pawn attacking the pawn. Bishop takes. Not really sure what that is because now he's, um, <clears throat> he's given up this bishop here. He's given up his rook. And he's given up his rook. And a little bit too arty for me. Position on the board. Let's have a look at what looks like after position on the board. The bishop's protected. King's looking to get back around, so things need <laughs> things need to start acting in here. They're looking to try and get this bishop here to go here, but that's going to take a long time. So this pawn is now being attacked, which is a shame, which is kind of forcing the rook to go backwards, supporting it. Bishop needs to, these pawns need to get moved somehow so that this bishop can get in the game. Everything's all on dark squares. So it's a bad bishop. It's not very clever. It's not in the game. So get these on white squares at least or something. Or else this king's going to come down. Yeah, exactly. Come on, that's right. Oh, but it's too late. Oh, he's just in time. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so I don't know. Rook's coming here. Maybe the king needs to be coming up. No, he can't go and dance with the pawns. Yeah, get in there. He's probably coming over to support the pawn because he's putting more pieces on there. Problem with that is the king would have to sit there. So the bishop's going to have to come and block. Don't want to be doing this. Bet you anybody who does that. Oh, why? Why? Now it's gone, hasn't it? It's got two pieces there. The rook, well, maybe not because the king is there, but he's coming down for the rook. Comes here and hits the rook. With, looks like they're going to fly up here, but the bishop's protecting the pawn. So there's a big massive squish going on because if this bishop gets to take this and the rook is up there, this rook just comes down here, puts a two on one on the bishop. That's not good. Don't take. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Looks like we're going round the back here. King looks fairly safe. Can just jump up here, can't it? But this pawn is past on it. I think they've just lost. Yeah. They've just lost. Nothing to do. Good swing. Takes, takes. Rooks down. It's still this pawn. This pawn is gone. It's not even going to do that. Oh, he is doing that. There's no point. Unless the pawn gets here, then the king comes up. I don't, I don't see it. He's taking this pawn as well. Yeah, I'd resign. Resign, dude. Uh, yeah, this is done because if he gets, yeah, he resigns. Yeah, we're back on. Nice one. Okay, so 1500 versus 1500. Still in the under 1700 rapid arena so now the key thing is i don't think they're going castling here because it doesn't look like much of a castle so there's going to be a lot of pressure coming on are they looking to then go queenside castle simply take that off the board first double the pawns Is this happening or are they going to be dangerous and just jump straight into the fire with the castling on the king's side? They're not doing any of that. They're just attacking. Expecting the knight to be hit. So 
So two move calculations, positions on the board should be slightly better, but it's not going to be fully developed. So obviously I think they probably knew the pawn could have pushed or it could have taken. Is the knight in a really nice position here or not? Is the king? These little tiny things are the things that kind of set apart a proper calculation, proper planning, proper logic and proper reasoning as to what's actually happening. Is, my, is their king safe? It feels like at this moment in time there's nothing that can actually attack it, but I think it needs to start making inroads. Like this guy, they're doing that now. They're looking to castle on the queen side. So I think that their queen needs to either come out, but no, they've just gone straight attacking. Queen's getting in there. Sometimes you can do that, you know, you, you before, you know, you don't have to do castling straight away. Um, now they're getting arty because the pawn can't take because the queen's got the x-ray through. So that's a little bit of showboaty type play. But where do they end up after this move? That's the question you've got to ask. Yes, it's done that, but what are you going to do next? we still got your x-ray through so you can keep your knight there. So, are we not going to go and castle now? I don't think they need to do any other attacks. There's two on one here, and that's your own fault. So maybe bringing the rook here to support the pawn. Or pushing the pawn up, whichever way around it is. So obviously they didn't know that that was the position that they were going to end up in. All they did was go for, oh, a little bit of showboating. But it's not really an ideal position for them. Now the knight is under threat because the king has moved. So there's no longer the x-ray through stopping the pawn from being pushed. So they lose a bit of tempo in having to move the knight back. It was like, yeah, flashy. But the applause suddenly died. It was like, yeah, and then it just stopped. Because what else have you got? You're going to probably need to go on queenside castle now because the opponent's doing a single attack as well. As we said, I mean, the 1500s. But looking at the position on the board, oh, they've done it now. Okay, so they're attacking the queen. Where does the queen go? Probably comes back here. It's not really one to get onto these squares because the knight will take. But there's, again... Position on the board is key. What's behind there? The bishop. Are they looking to put double up the rooks onto the bishop? Where's the bishop going after that? Potentially coming here, but then this pawn gets taken. Yeah, so they've done an attack with the pawn, but did it improve their position? Constantly got to be thinking, well, what does it look like when I've made this move? Not looking at these cheap, tactical, fancy quick applause type um, manoeuvres and looking a little bit deeper. That would have been a nice move if it could you could follow it up and build on it. So the capturing, just disrupting the king's pawn structure. Knight's in, putting a check on the king. Single attacks. So where does the knight actually go from there? It's looking to basically just take here, which would be okay for them because the pawn can take, again, that position. It's not too favourable. Queen comes down with a check, so the king has to move, but it can't move there. It's having to come into the game, into the line of fire, where the rooks are going to come start putting pressure on it. Potential for an exchange, but I think really it's not going to happen. Queen could come here. That's probably the best move that they're going to make. Because, oh, sh**. This is, it's, it's just brought the king into the line of fire, basically. Yeah, rook's here. Queen can still do that, but going to lose a pawn. Can't even do that because the queen can't. Oh, what did I just say? You're going to lose a pawn. The pressure is on. I don't know how they're going to get out of this, but maybe they do. 
Queen takes, takes, Rook comes down, happy meal. Rook goes up maybe. Oh, okay, it's brought, I don't see that. It's attacking the Rook, so this Rook's not coming here because the King will just take the Rook. So maybe they just double. And then bring here. Maybe it's a draw. No. Comes here. Hits it a bit. Oh, they might have just saved themselves. It's coming there. Bring this rook here, then just come up like this. Yeah, I think it's salvageable. It looked bad, it looked worse than what it was. Maybe there was a move order that Black did wrong. Nice move, there we go, that's what we're talking about. Don't forget there's a back rank threat if they're getting giddy. And we've seen these sort of things in the under 1500 thing. Ah, uh, look at that, it's like they can hear me. Okay, what's next? What's the next threat? So the rook's up attacking, but obviously this is just going to be putting a check on the king. Where's he thinking of going? Going on the back. Could be a nice exchange. This looks like it's going to be a draw. Yeah, this is going to be a draw. Yes. Normal human play, I like it. Mm, same, go and take it. Takes, takes. Rook has to defend if he wants to keep his pawn. So it's making them do something they don't want to do. It's also attacking this pawn. So that's a bit of an advantage, but they're already plus one anyway, so it'd just be a case of white getting the pawn back. And then maybe they're going to try and do this. Don't know if the king's getting in there or not. Ooh, they did that before he could do that. So defending the pawn could be a draw. It should Peter to be a draw, really. What's he trying to do? Get the... Oh, he's not gone that way. I thought it was going to go up. So he's hiding the king so the rook can't do that. Rook kick. Rook check on the king and promote the pawn so they lose the rook. So he's pretty safe there, really. Probably would have thought maybe moving the king across just to get it here. So there's no tempo losses. But I bet you any money the push, yeah. Now, the problem, this is why I've, I was thinking maybe they should get the king here to stop that off. See how quickly they moved then with the rook could have just taken the pawn and taken here. And then this pawn would have been a passed pawn. So that was a... To me, that was a massive missed opportunity. But maybe they're thinking, well, if I do go and take that pawn, he's just getting promoted anyway. So there's checks on the king. Still could be petering out to be a draw because this king is not really going anywhere. It'd have to make its way all the way back down again. he can't go here all day he's just going backwards and forwards so yeah so he has to make his way down to cut the rook off and then decide well, okay is there something about coming here and attacking no maybe not it's just going to get checks on oh he is going for it <laughs> does he still try and come here but that's too far so this one pushing here hiding the king in here I do still believe white could have made its way to here with the king. That would have been a lot better. Now the king's a bit airy, but... So 
So 11 minutes of this arena left now. I think this will be the last one I'm covering. But we're seeing the sort of traits that we, we would expect and draw. Said that already, didn't I? Mutual agreement. So, yeah, interesting. Under 1700, rapid arena, 10 minutes, zero increment. 